What's going on YouTube? Back with another video today. And today I want to talk to you about a New Jersey Ford dealership that had a technician doing alignments and thought it would be a good idea to go out and test drive, or should I say, have a grand old time in a customer's Mustang. And it's, depending on what kind of car owner you are, it's kind of tough to watch. Me, myself, I take great pride in my vehicle and my possessions, and I would hate to see a dealership do this to my vehicle. Uh, thankfully for the customer involved, he did have a dash cam running, unbeknownst to the technician, and you'll just have to watch the video and see how it ensues. But first, I want to say thank you to all the new subscribers of the channel. I really do appreciate it. Thanks for everything you have done so far. Thanks for all the views. It has been amazing, and I look forward to doing this for a long time. That being said, if you haven't subscribed, be sure to hit that subscribe button below, sign up for the notifications, and yeah. So jumping into the video, we are going to be taking a look first. I have edited the video, so it is shorter than the original. If you want to see the original, it is available on his YouTube channel. I will post that link in the description. I would say his name, but I know I'm going to butcher it, so I'm just going to go ahead and pass. That being said, I'm going to go ahead and play the video, and after the video, I'm going to give my thoughts and opinions on what has happened so sit back relax and enjoy cringe whatever you might feel let it happen parking mode off Yeah, I just did a wheel alignment. I gotta go. I gotta go see my wife right now. She's waiting for me. I call. I know. I will. Not too late. I will. I got you. You look warm though, but you look good. You look warm. So I'm just saying, what's up? No, I wish I was rich, but I'm just fucking other niggas' shit up. <laughs> yeah, why? Huh? No, I'm putting in a lot. No, actually, he's a waiter. Shut the door! 
got the wrong one tested down in this car. I'm hitting this shit. This should be hitting, bro. I mean, I this should be hitting. Like, well, let's go. Come on. Nah, nah, let's go with the black real quick. Come with me. Okay. Let's go. Okay, okay. All right, babe, I'm going to call you back. I'm going to put my boy on a ride real quick. He ain't supposed to rob me. Wow. All right, let me call you back, babe. <laughs> <laughs> That's just not a bad game. Let me show you how this shit really hit. Step on the brakes. Let's go. I feel you. You just want to off? Yeah, because you're burning the clutch. You got to let go of the clutch. You can't be on the clutch all the time. I know. You smell it? So now that the video is over and you've had your chance to observe, uh, the parts that I that I uh, edited out were basically just you know him cruising, sitting at stoplights, um, stuff that wasn't so hard. But his intention was stated in the video that it was somebody else's vehicle and he was not concerned so much with it. It was his chance to joyride and have a good time on someone else's expense and dollar. And that's just very unfortunate as someone that was in the auto repair industry for many, many years. I've done many, many alignments and it is not necessary to go joyriding in a customer's vehicle. What is necessary is to go test drive it, ensure that the steering wheel is straight, that the vehicle is not pulling, no shake, vibration, or anything like that. And seeing something like this is just very unfortunate and it really hurts the auto industry as a whole, or I should say the auto repair industry because when stuff like this happens, it really does hurt consumer trust in auto repair shops, no matter if it's a 
mom and pop shop or a local dealership. The stigma among technicians is that they are maybe reckless, um, people that might not be so concerned with others' property. And a video like this happens and it just, you know, shows the lack of concern that some, and I should say some, because definitely not all mechanics or technicians are this way but it's just very unfortunate this happened. And the reason I do call out this video and this technician and this dealership is to hold them accountable. As the auto industry progresses and auto repair industry progresses, we really need to see these people taking their job seriously. And um, you know, there's a number of different things that could have happened when he's speeding down this back road um, in this neighborhood, in this residential area. There's a number of different things that could have happened. He could have ran into another vehicle. He could have ran into a person, he could have ran into a child, a dog, whatever it might have been. Something very bad could have happened. He was exceeding the speeds on the, on the uh, posted signs. Um, he was losing traction. He was revving. He was dump doing a number of different things. It kind of seemed like he was just having the time of his life on somebody else's vehicle. And as someone that really does have concern for my property and really do appreciate what I'm able to buy and especially my vehicle it means so much to me anyone that I've ever had um, I know whenever I was a teenager I had a little bit less concern and that is for another video I will get into those stories but that being said uh, I hate to see this happen but I am gladly reporting on it and discussing it and trying to get your opinions as well because I think if stuff like this just goes brush under the rug it goes forgotten and changes are unable to be made and people are not held accountable. So that being said, let me know your thoughts and opinions down below. I would really appreciate it. I'd like to hear everyone's opinion and try to get a, a better angle for those that might not believe that this was such a bad thing. I have a hard time seeing it that way. But if you do have a real concern that it was maybe not the technician's fault, let me know. I would be enlightened if you could you know give me an angle in which he was right uh, i'm gonna have a hard time believing it though um thanks guys I really do appreciate it remember subscribe if you haven't and for those new subscribers i really do appreciate it thanks guys and have a great day